Hey there everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna head off to Target and you all know that I love to take you through the store when the new decor lines drop because we can point out some of those emerging trends and I love to give you all styling tips and ideas with some of the new products. I know you all know that here on this channel we're about achieving that high-end designer look on a budget and Target is a great place to do that because these pieces are actually designed by designers. So afterwards, we'll come back home and I'll show you everything that I found for my own space and how I'm planning to style it. So hopefully you can get some fun inspiration and everything Everything will be linked down below in the description box in the order that it was shown so hopefully that makes things easier for you all they are affiliate links meaning that I get a very small commission if you purchase from those links so you don't have to use them I just wanted you to know that's the deal if you do thank you so much for your support and yeah without further ado let's head off to Target okay so here we are at Target and I went to two targets to film this video and both of them looked like a tornado hit the decor section but even though it was a mess I was still able to find some really good stuff so the first thing that I spotted were these $5 olive stems and these reminded me a lot of the ones that they sell on the designer Magnolia site for one third of the price so I thought that was a great deal and then I also spotted this new line of vases and decorative bowls this was my favorite shape I really loved the texture on here it was only 25 bucks and it reminded me of something you would see at West Elm or CB2 it's a perfect mix of rustic and modern and I also popped two of the olive stems in here and I love the upscale look of this the total cost was $35 and I also spotted this fuller olive arrangement for the same price. They had a similar one a couple of years ago in one of their previous spring collections and I styled it in our guest bath. I will say that the olive stems on this one are a lot fuller and this would be a great option for adding a rustic touch to somewhere like a console table or a coffee table. It'd also be nice on a dresser, desk, or maybe even popped on a bench. Now if you're looking to add a subtle pop of natural color in the new year, one of my favorite new stems was this lavender branch. It was only $5 which I thought was super reasonable and I thought these looked very lifelike. When sourcing colorful stems, I like to pick out pieces that have color but it's more muted down because that's often how it looks in nature so I was really excited about these. And another new piece that I was really excited about was this European inspired vase. This has that faux aging detail on it to look like a true antique and it also has a watertight inside so you can put stems in it as well. And just for fun, I styled two of the lavender stems in here and I love the French country vibes that this gives off. And another colorful stem that I liked was this wildflower bundle. It was $15 for three stems and I love the idea of popping these in a glass vase with some water in it just to give the arrangement that freshly cut feel. And they also had a smaller accent piece in this gorgeous textured glass vase. And that vintage glass look is really big right now so this would be a cute little accent piece to maybe style next to a larger vase of greenery from some extra dimension. Another new stem was this seeded willow eucalyptus and you could either get it in a group of three smaller stems for $15 or one larger stem for $10. And I styled some of the smaller ones in my favorite new vase and I just love the look of that as well. Now, something I was so happy to see in this new collection were several different pieces in this gorgeous gray taupey marble. They also have it available in a bowl as well, and these are great deals because even something similar on Amazon is almost twice the price, and you all know that I'm a big fan of marble decor. It's a great natural material that gives off an earthy feel, and it just looks expensive. So it's great that we can get these at the cheaper target price points, and I really liked the lines on this scallop tray, and I thought it'd be perfect to hold things on a bathroom countertop or maybe in the kitchen to hold things like an oil cruet or some seasoning or coffee supplies and they also had this larger one with a little bit more surface area and I think this would be nice somewhere like a coffee table you could pop a vase on here in a candle or you could even use it for an aesthetic charcuterie board and I also spotted these super cute marble salt and pepper shakers and I loved the natural combo of the wood and stone for that simple earthy feel another thing that this new collection had a bunch of was decorative bowls and I think that this was probably my favorite out of all of the ones that I saw because I really liked the rustic texture on it and I liked that it was both on the inside and the outside of the bowl it kind of had that collected artifact feel to it which I liked and I wanted to compare it to the one that we saw earlier and this one was a little bit larger and it had more of a modern look to it but I personally preferred the one on the left just because a lot of times you're staring at the inside of the bowl unless 
faucets up on a shelf and I liked how the inside was also interesting. And speaking of interesting, they also had this amber glass scalloped dish which I thought was kind of fun and retro looking and the scallop shape is definitely really big right now because they also had a similar one in brass. I also liked this little accent plant and I thought it would look super cute styled on maybe like a shelf or a mantle because of its draping nature and I also liked the earthy brown rustic vase that it came in and they did have a smaller accent one as well that would be perfect for shelf styling or again accenting a larger vase with stems in it. And in this new collection we also had several lamps and what I appreciated about this one was its color. It's a really beautiful sagey green that was almost a neutral and this is a very timeless and classic piece. And then on the trendier side we have this woven lamp with a pleated lampshade and she is Miss Texture. This will definitely help to add some dimension to your space and because of the woven material it will also help to add some warmth. They also had this really pretty green and brass lamp with more of a vintagey feel to it and I liked the pulled chain detail and the combo of the brass and the muted green pattern together. Now something else that I was really excited about was this smaller tabletop tree. I thought that the foliage was really lifelike and the pot that it came in was neutral so it could fit in with lots of different decor schemes but it also had a slightly rustic feel to it which I really liked and they also sell this in a larger tree version as well. I didn't see it in store but I like that it's more of a vertically straight tree and it reminds me a lot of the trees that I've seen in Amber Lewis's designs so it's kind of nice that we can get it for a more affordable price here. They also had this cute little tabletop arrangement that would be a nice versatile season neutral piece to have on hand perfect for just styling on maybe somewhere like a coffee table or a desk. I also really loved this vertical wall hanger and I just love how practical it is because it doesn't take up a lot of wall space at all and it's just great for vertical storage which is so nice for tight spaces and I also saw that someone in the reviews used two of them on top of each other for even more storage which I thought was genius. And here we are seeing that scalloped detail trend again with this cute little trinket dish and these are only five dollars so they would be great for little gifts and they're also awesome for storing your everyday jewelry aesthetically on somewhere like a nightstand or in a bathroom. Another gorgeous scalloped piece that might be my favorite out of this entire collection is this candle holder. I love the unique shape of it and the brass tone on it is perfect. It's warm but not too orange or yellow and it has that vintage look and feel to it which I love and this would be so pretty on a shelf or maybe a mantle. You could even get two of them to pair together on a tablescape too. Now if you couldn't already tell something that is trending right now is the color green and this collection has a lot of muted earthy green tones in it. This picture is super practical because it's something useful that you can display out on a countertop but it can also double as a vase and I just love the slight variation in the glaze and the subtle texture that it has. I also really loved these arched black lanterns. These would be so pretty to pair together and then pop some battery operated candles inside just to give off a cozy ambiance to maybe somewhere like a living room near a fireplace. And another way to cozy up a space and make it feel warmer is by adding wovens. So I really liked this handled woven tray. This would be perfect for corralling items in an organized way on somewhere like a coffee table. They also had a slightly smaller tray with a bit of a darker stain on it and I really loved the shape of this one. Now something else that's an emerging trend this year is the use of floral prints and this collection had a bunch including some on-trend green ones and what's great about these lines is that most of the time the majority of the pillows can be paired together so if you struggle with pairing pillows I feel like it's easy to come here and find ones that work together. Okay, so we're back home and it's time to show you all my little Target haul and how I'm gonna style everything in my space. So the first thing that I brought home with me was this stunning rustic planter. Now this guy was $25 and they do have a larger size as well, but I picked the smaller one because I figured this would be a very convenient size to style just like on a bathroom countertop or like a little skinny console or on a coffee table, something that was a little bit lower and smaller. I just felt like it was a really good size and I'm actually not gonna use this as a vase or a planter. I was planning to use this as a utensil crock. So I loved the rustic look of this and how it looked like a real vintage piece. And I like 
liked all the little details and the lines in here so I figured it'd look really pretty on our very white and bright countertop to kind of help to add a pop of contrast but also bring in that earthy rustic feel as well. Incorporating antiques is something that all designers do and you know antiques can be very pricey especially something like this so it's great that we can get pieces that are made to look old and kind of have that antique finish but for a much more affordable price. Okay so this next piece I actually showed you all in the shop with me portion and I left it at the store at the time of filming the shop with me and then I was editing the shop with me stuff and I was like oh my gosh I actually really want those those are great so I went back and got them and they are these really pretty lavender stems I just thought they looked so realistic I loved the color and it's just something fun for spring that helps to add a pop of freshness and isn't greenery so it's nice when we can have these like naturally gathered looking stems so I'm just gonna pop these in a rustic vase that I have in our front entryway and I got four of them so I figured that was kind of the perfect amount since the stems were five dollars each it was only twenty dollars total which I thought was pretty good and they just help to give my space that fresh spring like feel but they also feel very natural and earthy at the same time so definitely a great way to add a little pop of color okay so I got this next piece to kind of add to the vignette in our front entryway with the lavender stems and it's this stunning piece of landscape art with this really pretty kind of vintage frame this was $23 which I thought was a great deal for its size and I loved the coloring in here how it had a lot of those earthy muted greens and browns and it just kind of felt like it brings that outdoors inside while also feeling like it's a vintage piece as well so I'm just gonna lean this against our little console table in our front entryway and pop it next to our vase to kind of round out that styling I'll pop maybe a little candle next to it and it'll feel really finished and elevated I also like this piece because it's a very season neutral look you can keep this up year round the distressing on the gold frame is so pretty making it again to feel like a true antique piece which I personally really love so definitely a great find okay so these next two things I'm planning to style together and I did show them in the shop with me portion and they were another one of those things that I went back and got but it's this really pretty kind of grayish marble tray and then this olive stem arrangement so I just thought $35 was such a good deal for a full olive arrangement like this I mean you can't even buy that many stems for $35 for it to look this full and then also you get the vase so I just thought that was a great deal because you can pop this on a bathroom countertop you can use this on a console table you can pop this on a dining table it's really just such a versatile piece and then I'm gonna put it on this really pretty marble tray because I like the little wooden feet that it has I love the combo of wood and marble I think that that just looks very earthy and organic and I just love having pieces like this to help corral items and make them feel a lot more intentionally styled even if you put something ugly like a remote on this with a little candle it makes things feel more organized and elevated and I just figured it was a really pretty piece to have on hand especially for the price and then another thing that I just could not pass up was this gorgeous textured bowl again it has that antique look to it and because the detail is so pretty this is a bowl that I don't feel like you would need to fill with bowl filler it would look so stunning just on its own as kind of like a sculptural slash artifact looking piece so I'm just gonna pop this on a bench that we have in our entryway on top of a little riser that I made of books and it also just helps to add in those brown earthy tones and textures to that space as well so definitely a great deal for 20 bucks and I love that it's versatile I could take this and pop it on a shelf or move it you know maybe to another console table so this was a really pretty one that I did not want to pass up <laughs> all right everyone that about wraps up this video I hope that you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it really does help to support the channel and be sure that you're subscribed because I have a lot of fun new home decorating content in the new year including restyling my living room so make sure you don't miss that and I just want to thank you all so much for watching this video I hope your new year is off to a great start so far and I will see you all in my next one bye